That's my job. No, it's all right. I'm not going to sleep much tonight anyway. Just so you know, I feel terrible. You didn't do anything. But you felt you couldn't come and talk to me. For the terrible things I said. You do treat me like a kid sometimes. <sighs> yeah, well, you do act like one sometimes, don't you? Look, I've spoken to Auntie Peggy and you're right. You're right, I've got no man, no money, no common sense. And you're right. I am jealous. You know, before he took her away... No, you don't no I want to. Before he took her away, I... I held her in my arms just for a few moments. I can still remember the smell of her skin. I've never been sure whether that's a... a good thing or a bad thing, having that memory, because... every time I think about it... I never, ever want you to feel that way, OK? Speaking to Auntie Peg has made everything clear, all right? Mm. I know what I've got to do. I guess this is, um, this is really growing up. And I'm going to be there every step of the way. When you have this baby. What? Sod waiting. Sod doing the right thing. Sod Sean. We are going to do this together. I'm going to be right by your side, Roxy. I'm not going to be in the way or anything. I'm just going to help. I want you to have this baby. 